calculations for this experiment. This is experiment four. And uh, what we're going to be doing is I've got my data on my other screen. And I've got my um, page seven of the lab where it's talking about the calculations here. And let's just overlap those a little bit. So, and I get my calculator. Uh, calculation, the initial, calculate the initial mass of sodium bicarbonate. Well, that's going to be subtracting the dish from the dish plus the sodium bicarbonate. So the difference between these two numbers. One fifty one point eight eight minus one twenty point five nine, thirty one point two nine grams. Calculate the mass of sodium bicarbonate. Well, to do that, I'm going to take the average of my two good or final um, uh, dish plus sodium carbonates. And that I'm going to subtract off my mass of my dish. So 140.31 minus 120.59. I get 19.72. says, based on the mass of sodium bicarbonate before heating in step two and using stoichiometry, calculate the theoretical mass of sodium carbonate. Well, I know I have 31.29 grams of sodium bicarbonate. And I know that uh, I can turn the grams into moles. Then I have a two to one mole ratio two moles of sodium bicarbonate for every one mole of, uh, let's see if I can do this now, carbonate. And I've also got the molar masses given to you somewhere in here. There we go. Oh, I've got a whole example of all the calculations in here. It starts on page three, including all of the error analysis. So, I think I'll allow the lab to pick up from there. Please read it over, and I suggest you do the error analysis and the actual calculations together.